please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. Greetings and salutations to you my beautiful nerds, what is up? It is I, Rachel S. How is it going? I have another Nihon box review for you today guys. Yes, normally I don't do boxes back to back, but I need to get through all these boxes because I am still in the June box phase and I really need to clear through all these boxes so I can get through to the October. So this is the June Nihon box like I just said and this theme is Tanoshi time. So uh, if you don't know what Tanoshi means, uh, sorry Tanoshi, uh, just means happy or delightful or pleasant. So uh, say like I really enjoyed the party uh, you'll be like Watashi wa party wa tanoko tamashi. So I really enjoyed the party. Tanoshi, I enjoyed it. So <laughs> that's basically what Tanoshi means. So it's happy time. So uh, I know there's a lot of uh, really cool animes in here. There's one I've not heard of, uh, which I was a bit unsure of, um, but hopefully it will be cool to discover what it is because I know it's an anniversary of this anime. Uh, I know there's Kirby, um, there's uh, some other cool stuff in here. So yeah, I, I just got to figure out what's in here because like I said, I've had this box since June. I have not dug into it since I sort of kind of, kind of peeked in, closed the lid and put it away in my front bedroom so I wouldn't have a sneaky. So without further ado guys, let's dig into the nerdy goodness because I've been looking forward to doing these. Uh, so let's have a look at the poster which gives us an inkling of what is in the box. Uh, so from what I can see we have Kirby, um, I don't know who that is, I know that's from Korokono Basket but I don't know the name of the character and not sure about this guy here at the top, it looks like Inuyasha with that hair but I could be wrong but hey ho, that's the mystery of the box so I'll just dig in and find out what animes we got. Might not necessarily be anime, it might be just Japanese stuff. So here is the pamphlet to help us guide through the month. And on the back uh, you have a little history brief. Uh, ah, City Hunter. So City Hunter is what this one's from, this guy here. So uh, it's a masterpiece from the 80s and basically... Bloody hell. Uh, okay, so yeah, City Hunter is the primary feature in this box, and apparently it's had over 35 volumes of work from 1985 and ended in 1991. And basically, it's a police drama in a way. So yeah, I'll find out when I get to the item. So I'm not going to look in the pamphlet until I get to that. So let's dig in. Save me waffling. So first item, oh, it's wrapped, so I think this is Japanese because this feels like a sushi plate. So let's have a look. I don't like tearing this paper, but unfortunately I have to open it up. Ooh. I do like getting Japanese crockery because, yeah, when I get a place, I really want to have a big old Japanese food party. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, it's lacquered. It's like a wood effect. So here we go. So here's the first item. So ta it's a food serving plate with some rabbits, some sakura and a moon and they're jumping over some hills and it's in a lovely gold finish and it's been lacquered so it's sort of um, good for uh, cleaning it down and it's got this really nice raised tray design so it's kind of got like these little, little end pieces here they look really super nice so this would be awesome to put sushi on or um, sort of like some fried stuff like some a fried shrimp and fried sweet potato and stuff like that it's really nice i do love that i've got a lot of bowls but i don't have a lot of flat plates so that will come in really super handy even though it's quite small it's quite tidy and it'd be a nice sort of centerpiece in the table um so let's have a look what this is without looking too much at the other stuff so i've got a really itchy nose excuse me uh so this is the usagi tray and this is by made in japan uh, to give a cool Japanese touch to your meals, here is a nice tray with a usagi or rabbit design. You can pull it on, put it on your table with small condiments or soy sauce, salt, etc. Or drop your favourite treats on it during your tea or coffee break. Yeah, actually, it would be quite nice to put cake on and stuff. You know, so some have that sakura tea we had in the other box, and you know, have some nice mochis or something. That's really nice. So yeah, super cool item. That's number one. So let's keep digging in so trying to find small items so this feels like a gasher 
and oh this is cute okay my mate hazel's gonna want this off me because she loves any anime that's got basketball or or like haiki or netball volleyball if it's a sport anime she'll generally like it oh my god i can't i can't get into this packet i can't take it out properly because it's all shiny okay i might have to tear this in half so it, right got there in the end <laughs> sorry it was very tough plastic so i nearly hurt my tooth doing that so here's the little charm we got so this is from a coracono basket i'm pretty sure that's what the anime is from and it's of this guy here i don't know his name i'm very sorry i know he's just got a very sort of very basic expression he doesn't really show a lot of emotion and i'm pretty sure he sat on a bridge so i'm guessing it's from the the hometown of where it's set and he's holding a a basketball so that's kind of cool and he's got his little number there on the back so that's actually kind of cute so i might give this to hazel for christmas um because yeah she she loves this stuff i sold her a high q t-shirt and she absolutely loves it uh so that's really cool so this is from uh nets k Koroko basket keychain with the strap series the heroes of Koroko basket enjoy some tonoshi time in the streets of tokyo and yokohama each character features a popular symbol of the city the sky tree the rainbow bridge and the Harry Manayon for Tokyo, Shumi Sailor Kung Fu and Gold Pig for Yokohama. Okay, so there were various little keychains uh, basically to show the different areas of Japan. So I think I'm pretty sure I got Rainbow Bridge, but that's kind of cool. I like it. So yeah, this will definitely make a really good present for someone. So yeah, that's the good thing about this box. If you don't like it, you can always share it with another nerd who will appreciate it a lot more. So that's really cool. So Let's see, number three, feels like some chocolates. Oh, oh. Ooh, I'm happy. <laughs> As a Dragon Ball fan, I am really happy. And these are awesome because I've been wanting to try these for ages and I can't get hold of them here in the UK. Uh, so I think this is a bonus item. I'll have to check the booklet, but they are some Dragon Ball character chocolates. And uh, the reason I'm happy is my ultra favorite character, Lord Birisama, is just a. Uh, poking his little head around uh so we got piccolo uh there's a cyberman and gold freezer there and you got Duran, freezer uh vegeta and uh i think that's broly it's not yeah that's broly and uh super saiyan god goku there on the front that's really cool problem is i wouldn't want to unwrap these because i would be terrified of wrecking the packaging oh i think there's a dragon ball in there as well behind the packet but that's really neat i love those what i might have to do is find some marbles or roll up some balls of clay and then carefully unfold the foil and then wrap it back around the ball and then that way i can display them in my dragon ball cabinet um because i don't want them going bad uh so yeah that's really neat i love getting dragon ball stuff that's why yeah as you can tell i'm a fan and i've got like a huge cabinet full of figures uh, so yeah, that was a bonus item. So that's really cool. I love it when I get bonus things from Nihon. So thank you. You know I'm a Dragon Ball fan. <laughs> so let's carry on. So I'm going to go for this. It feels like a lunchbox. Like I don't have enough lunchboxes. And oh, surprise, surprise. It's the uh, City Hunter item. And hmm, this is actually a really cool looking lunchbox. So I'm just going to take out the packet just to have a quick look. Because this is actually quite a big lunchbox. The ones I've had are quite small uh so oh this is actually quite nice so there's the characters i, I don't know these guys names so i do apologize i haven't watched this like it's like i said earlier it's a very early 80s anime this was before my time and oh this is actually a nice lunchbox so inside we have a separator so you can divide your rice from your meat or veg depending what you want and it's actually got quite a nice clip and it's also got a, a seal so it keeps your food fresh so you don't get it all condensated and gross and yeah really cool so i can't tell what it says on here but yeah basically it just says about the seal and how to wash it in japanese so uh yeah like i said don't know much about this anime unfortunately but i might have to give it a sneaky peek so i'm just going to see what it says in the book uh so this is the city lunchbox city hunter lunchbox uh it's a fact city hunter products are rare and hard to find even in japan it is with great pleasure that we managed to include this pretty official lunchbox and it's made in Japan. The design features Ryo and Kori and the blue and red colours like the one from Ryo's clothes. The lunchbox will put a smile on your face and your next meal breaks. So yeah, not an anime I know, but you know, 
gives me a chance to discover it so that's kind of cool and it's a good big lunch box so that's really cool because i'm trying to eat a lot more healthy with my tummy problems so yeah kind of neat really, really cool right i think we're down to two items and there's a plush and there's a big item so i'm gonna go for the plush next so let's have a look <laughs> oh no oh my friend carolyn's gonna want this off me okay so here we have a fairy tale plush and i'm pretty sure this is natsu and this is actually kind of cute i just want to open up and see how it feels um as you know i'm not really a big fairy tale fan uh in my taste it's like a really overly slapstick one piece um but i know from a lot of people it gets better so i might have to try and rewatch this series and get back into it oh my god this hair is like so silky this is actually a really cute cuddly plushie and he's even got this little tattoo so here's natsu it's actually a really nice plush it's got really cool hair you know, it's a really sort of nice felt fabric it's so silky it's got very nice embroidering on his face and his little teeth he's even got his little tattoo there on his arm for the fairy tale guild yes i know a little bit okay i watched up to episode six and all his clothes are really well stitched and he's got his iconic scarf 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 <laughs> so probably rachel uh yeah it's a really neat plushie actually and it's officially official i cannot talk today i cannot english today <laughs> so it's got official merch on it so it's got official kondashia sticker on it and it's got a really cool label i think uh this is from excuse me i think this is from one of the movies uh, i'm not sure but i'll have to i'll have to double check because it looks like the village from a sort of movie style poster but yeah despite not an anime i like this is actually a really nice plush so that's natsu so uh he smiles and here he all oh, smiles here he comes natsu the powerful mage of the fairy tale guild in your box this plush only available in japan is super detailed with the logo of the guild tattooed on natsu's arm and smiles this new addition for your manga plush collection so yeah i like it it's kind of cute so i might have to give fairy tale another go and see what it's like because my mate dave at work bangs on about fairy tale all the time and he loves it so yeah <laughs> this is really cute i can't get over how soft his hair is it's really nice right so i think we're down to the last item and oh my friend jamie's gonna have this this is literally a box for my friends this month seriously oh this is cute okay so we have a uh, kirby solar lamp and as you can see it's already starting to move around already uh, i'm not going to open it because i'm going to keep it as it is because i might give this as a present for christmas to someone so this is really cool i'm not a big kirby player but this is actually really adorable so there's a little cloud with all these little pastel stars on as you can see there's the little solar catcher and there's kirby sat on a star flying around in the kirby verse so i don't know what kirby was it I don't know what land kirby's in I, i've never played it like i said <laughs> i need to because it's on the switch and you can play it on the um, nintendo direct uh so yeah this is really awesome it's really cool to get three premier items like this in a box um so there was two variants so there's a uh, kirby on the star and kirby with an umbrella uh, so this is the Kirby figure swing solar collection. So here comes the sun and summer is right around the corner. Well, it was, it's autumn now and it's raining outside. <laughs> uh, for the occasion here, it's a stunning so Kirby solar figurine. And thanks to the sunlight, this little pink ball will move left to right and bring you uh, life to your decoration. Two designs are ran labeled random, Kirby on a star or Kirby on an umbrella. So that's really super neat. I love that. So yeah, that's going to make someone very, very happy for Christmas. Not going to say who, but <laughs> you never know. So, uh, so that's really neat. Right. So guys, that was everything in this Nihon box. So just to wrap up, we had the Kirby solar figurine. Really, really cool. We had the fairy tale Natsu plush, so really cute and soft. We had the really retro City Hunter lunchbox, the uh, Kurokono basket little gacha, so that's really neat. The Usagi Japanese traditional plate, so I love that. And the bonus item, some Dragon Ball ch character chocolates, so really, really cool. So guys, what was your favourite item in this month's box? And um, have you ever watched City Hunter before? Is it any good? And should I give it a try? So until my next figure or box for you guys, I am going to say 
Sayonara. Stay nerdy, stay happy, and wear a mask and keep safe, my peeps. Thank you.